What's up, y'all? It's Thursday night before I leave for the bonfire on Friday uh, tomorrow. So I'm getting packed up and uh, I wanted to show you guys a couple of uh, projects I completed on the Jeep uh, in time for the bonfire this weekend. Some things I've been meaning to do for a while, um, but this was a good excuse to get them done. Uh, anytime I go on a trip, uh, it's a good excuse to get a few projects done on the Jeep. So. Let me show you what I did. Nothing big, but um, some things that are kind of nice. The first thing I did was related to my um, freezer fridge, my Dometic freezer fridge. We went on a camping trip um, a couple weeks ago, me, my wife, and my youngest daughter. And on the way out of town, my freezer fridge powered off and it wouldn't come back on. So I thought there was something wrong with the fridge or maybe a fuse blown. What ended up happening was I had a, um, cigarette lighter splitter so a, a way to plug two things uh, that normally take a cigarette lighter into one cigarette lighter adapter um, plug-in whatever you call it um, and that piece the splitter is actually what ended up going bad so let me show you what I'm talking about and I'll show you where I had my freezer fridge plugged in and, and why this was an issue all right so let's go around here to the back So here's my freezer fridge and right over here on um, some of the JKs, it has a, a 12 volt power um, supply right here and made into the side of the rear of the Jeep right here, it's factory. Um, so I, I would usually plug my freezer fridge in here. The problem is without the splitter I had, let me get panned down here a little bit farther. See, here's my, the frame of my overlanding cabinet I built, it's right up against, you might not be able to tell from this video, but it's right up against this, in line with this, and you've only got maybe, I don't know, two inches, two and a half inches clearance. Well, the, the cigarette lighter adapter on this Dometic power cord, the 12 volt cord, is about, I don't know, it's gotta be at least three or four inches long. So you could, you know, once I got this cabinet bolted in here, you couldn't plug it into here, so I had to, I got a, right angle kind of adapter to go into here and it split off into two things. The reason I, spl I got a splitter was because uh, one of the sides would be used to run my freezer fridge and the other side would I used for a power inverter up in the rooftop tent so I could power some devices up there, you know, charge my iPhone or uh, whatever up there. So that splitter, the 12 volt splitter is what ended up going bad, not the, this um, outlet here. So anyway, I had to throw that away. My light's going out on my, um, my my back end here. So I had to throw that splitter away on the way out of town and, and I ended up running the power cord all the way up to the front temporarily for that trip. That was kind of a pain in the ass, but I did it. That's what we had to do. Uh, but anyway, I started thinking, you know, those cigarette lighter adapters, the splitter I got, they're kind of cheap. I don't want this to happen to me again. So maybe I should just hardwire it to the uh, battery. So that's what I ended up doing. So I started reading online about um, how people hardwired fridges and things like that. And I kept running across people that said, um, get Anderson power pole connections, they're more secure than a cigarette lighter. So I looked at those and I really liked the way those connected. So I ended up buying some of those off of Amazon and rewiring it with Anderson power pole connections. And I'll show you what those look like. Um, they're really cool. I kind of geeked out on them a little bit to be honest with you. So here's my battery. Here's the hard wire I ran right here. And I ran this up through on the passenger side in JK's on um, these uh, 07 to probably 16 or 17 model. They have a hole in the firewall on this side too. I didn't realize that. Uh, I knew there was one on the driver's side over, way over there, um, but this one's less obvious. There is a hole that goes through the firewall up here and it's filled with that kind of spray in foam. So I had to cut a little bit of that out and I ran that directly through uh, this is another wire I'll talk about here in a second. Uh, but I ran that through, ran it, ran it up under, you know, down by the trim, the plastic trim that goes along by the door over here, and then I ran it up into here, and I'll show you. So here's the cord coming up from under the carpet in the seat. Ran it up into here, and um, that doesn't look like that's in focus. Let me see here. It might be a little better. So ran it up my, the side of my fridge, kind of uh, put a nice little, I don't know what you call these, 
a wire harness or something so it kind of kept it in place as the freezer fridge slides in and out it doesn't uh, doesn't move or anything and uh, this part here let me pan down here here's the it's probably a little dark in here sorry but this is the original 12 volt power cord that came with my Dometic. I have it ran up through the strap here to keep it in place also. But what I ended up doing was cutting the end, just the very end of it off where the cigarette lighter adapter was. So this is the original cord. And then I, uh, the hard wire I ran from the battery, I put these Anderson power pole connectors. You can kind of see them right here. Um, it's a little dark, sorry. Again, I'll, I'll put like a picture on the video here, overlay it so you can kind of see what they look like. But they're really cool. They kind of interlock with each other. Um, really great connections. And then I just uh, wire tied it around here so they wouldn't move. So, so that was one project I did. Um, I shouldn't have any problems with this anymore. Now I'll show you the next little project I did. This is a kind of a smaller one, I guess, but uh, let me see this pan down here. I put a bottom in this little, uh, I don't know, I'm calling it an adventure rack that I built here um, for the tire carrier. I put this flooring in it. Um, underneath it, it's just bars like this, and there's a lot of space, so things could kind of fall through there. So I put this floor in here. This is just, uh, I think it's basically chicken flooring, chicken coop flooring. Um, put that in there. So that's going to be kind of a nice little addition, keep things from falling out the bottom. I use the same uh, flooring up here for my rack. Um, I just had some left over, so I use it on, on that. So that was one little project I got accomplished. And then the last one I got done was uh, this uh, mount for my Rotopack's water water pack, and it's just a uh, piece of I think this is uh, what is this 16 gauge steel I think I got from the local hardware store here in Nixa. Shout out to Nixa Hardware, I love that place. Um, but yeah, I got this and I just kind of cut it around the edges a little bit so it didn't cut anybody, and got some U bolts and just kind of mounted it to here. It look, looks pretty nice. I'll probably have to end up painting this. Probably going to rust if I don't paint it, but. I kind of like the look of this this silver. Um, so yeah, I got that mounted so I can mount my, my rota packs on there now. Anyway, that's the little three little projects I got done this week. And uh, I gotta get packing. I got some stuff to still do before I leave tomorrow. I'm gonna try to head out at um, probably around 1.30 tomorrow afternoon so I can get down to Buffalo River and kind of get camp set up and relax for a while while there's still some daylight. So I'm gonna get to it. Don't you act surprised when it all goes to hell on your dime Maybe you can stand tall enough to look the devil